NATO troops there. Uh, today we have around 15,000, so it's a 90% drop. Uh, General Nicholson has asked for, quote, a few thousand more, unquote. Let me just answer the question very directly. If it was right to go in, it has to be not to right to leave before the job is done as well as we can do it. And in my view, we have to keep doing that job for three reasons. First, there are still transnational terrorist groups in Afghanistan that wish us harm at home here in our democracies. That's why we went in in the first place. Those transnational terrorist groups are still there, and they still pose a threat. Second, if this country collapses, we here will feel the consequences very directly. It could be three, four million young Afghan men sent out by their villages to migrate westwards. And they're heading here. They're heading for Germany or Britain. And that could be the consequence of this entire country collapses. Thirdly, there are NATO values here. This was, is a democracy that we helped establish. Seven million people voted in elections for a new future for Afghanistan, voted to choose a government, however fragile it is at the moment. That government has asked for our help. And my view is we should stay with it until, as long as we can, until that job is done. Nations are meeting it. Why, why there is this difference between talk and action? Are 28 nations acting irresponsible?